Now I'm starting to understand why Mr. Trey's dislikes the mobile doll so much. Pardon? Mr. Trey's fell in love with people, and he fell in love with the death of people. Something about death intensely appeals to people's emotions. The emotions that the dead give, denying or affirming battle. High emotions lead to extreme choices. The very act of receiving death is the demeanor of a true soldier. Isn't that how the weak would think? As a matter of fact, we created these mobile dolls as immortal soldiers. And we are about to build a future of battle that disregards death, and in which death is no longer a factor. Tuberoth, don't you realize it's not that mobile dolls transcend death. They're doing nothing more than merely replacing those who are afraid to die. One cannot participate in a war expecting to be defeated. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. Emotions are honed by continuing to fight. And a day comes when lost souls are rewarded. I fail to understand just what you are getting at. And that is exactly why you and I will be enemies. Barge is a decoy. I can't imagine the damage Barge's beam cannon will cause to the lunar base. Make it through this, Barge. I will not be too long. Ten wheels have crossed our line of defense. The gate with minimal security is under attack. The one focusing on Barge. They know where all of our mobile dolls are situated. That's what makes it so interesting. I'm releasing the Gundam pilots. It's what both Mr. Trace and I want. The enemy's not coming after us. Okay, we'll defend this position. Captain! What's the... Hey! The new mobile troops are already operating! Failure meant certain death at Oz. <laughs> Go and shoot me, Tuberoth, to confirm what you believe to be right. Too bad, Lady Anne. You are far too lenient. As a soldier, yes. But as a civilian, I lived an austere life. 